Hey, it's Feels Good Man. Do you guys ever wonder if you're gonna be playing Crunker about a year from now? A lot can change in a year. So for a lot of players, I think that it's just gonna come down to what it's like to play Crunker at that time. Personally, I think that Crunker will continue to grow. Um, the game is really on fire lately with the Twitch drops and the Clan Wars update, but there are some things in the patch notes that are gonna lead into even bigger milestones for the game. I'll be covering some of these changes, but also making some predictions about what I think the uh, future of Crunker is gonna look like. So um, I'll be drawing from various sources, some first party sources, um, some third party sources from the community, uh, as well as stuff that's actually confirmed. Some of the topics that we'll be covering are going to be post-processing, Steam launch, mobile, um, the new class, and battle royale mode, uh, just to name a few. So let's jump right into it. This patch that you see right here, uh, it dropped about a week ago and it's got a lot in it. I think it's one of those patches that's gonna be serving us well for um, a very long time. First, I'll briefly touch on the anonymous mode, which is a feature that I very much appreciate because I definitely like to reply to anyone who wants to have a conversation with me in chat, but it is extremely distracting as you can imagine while um, trying to record a video. So I've been playing with the anonymous mode turned on and um, the setting is limited to uh, verified users it may be open to premium users. I think it should be if it isn't, um, but it basically turns your name into anonymous. And I do believe that you can look the player up at the end of the match if you click on their name. So it works well for the most part, but definitely not um, a game-changing feature like some of the other ones that I'll be talking about. Um, first big one is gonna be post-processing. And I know that a lot of people are trying to figure out what the heck does post-processing do. And I did try to find out what it does myself and kind of drove me crazy doing tests. I think it's all part of a bigger initiative. If you look back at um, some of the recent patches, almost every patch had FPS optimizations or some optimizations of the game performance. And then all of a sudden the developers slip in the post-processing feature without really providing an explanation. And upon my testing, I could not figure out what it does. Could be um, a blur, it could be anti-aliasing related, it could be um, a vertical sync or fast sync, it could be film grain, um, we don't know. Or it could be an umbrella term that allows them to turn um, on and off a lot of these post-processing effects all at once. What I think they're doing is actually getting ready for the Steam launch of Crunker. And um, it's been stated before that Crunker is coming to Steam and it's gonna be a new audience for them. Um, probably some existing players. We don't know exactly if it's gonna be uh, similar to the client or different, but I think that they're gonna try to make the game as polished as possible. Um, if you consider when you played a game like, um, let's say Fortnite for the first time, uh, when you first play the game, they have all the effects turned on like motion blur, you know, the stuff that the pros all turn off, but it does give a polished look to the game. And um, for someone that's new to Crunker, it might really make the difference um, to hold their attention or not. If you consider that the most popular GPU on Steam is GTX 1060, GTX 1060 is actually quite powerful for a game like Crunker. So it does make sense to um, add these features, improve the lighting, improve the shadows, um, add some more post-processing effects to the game before doing a launch. But the flip side of that is um, optimizations for lower end devices, which brings me to mobile. If you guys haven't seen my previous video on Crunker Mobile, uh, short story is that I got pretty obsessed with um, optimizing for Crunker Mobile, um, improving my game, doing custom layouts, things like that. But I really wanted to get in touch with the developers because first I don't want to spend time making um, in-depth tutorials on how to customize the UI um, if something's already in development by the Crunker team. And um, second, I think that a lot of these features would just benefit a lot more from first party support. So the good news is that I did get in touch with them and there are some really, really awesome things coming. And I even had the opportunity to make some contributions to the mobile side of the game, um, which is really exciting. But that's all I can say for now. Um, you might be wondering, that's great, but how can I get a mobile layout? Luckily, you can actually get a mobile layout right now, even before these big mobile changes are coming. That's because CSS is now available to be added to mod packs, and it's a feature that I requested a long time ago. Um, I'm sure a ton of others requested it as well, but the reason that I wanted it in the game is specifically for um, customizing the mobile UI, because that's how the mobile buttons are laid out uh, based on CSS class declarations. So if you guys want to copy my mobile UI, you can get it by um, just hopping on the Crunker and then looking under the Featured section and getting the Feels Good mod now has mobile styles. It will not affect anyone on desktop because I added a media query to only apply to um, small screen sizes. Um, so you can try it out, but I have a kind of a strange layout 
Um, it works for me because I can um, do certain things at the same time and uh, I tried a ton of different layouts. If you do want to get a head start on um, learning how to make your own custom mobile UI button layout, just head over and read some of the articles on feelsgoodman.com because I do explain the process there. Now let's briefly talk about the new Blaster class, which is definitely coming to Crunker. It did leak and then it was confirmed and now you can see it in the game, but it's not playable quite yet. I only really have one thing to say about this and it's the fact that I think it's a good idea because it's a projectile based class and there really should be more projectile based classes in the game. So it's kind of like an assault class, but it's not a hit scan. If you guys have played Overwatch, it's very similar to how Zenyatta works and I was the Zenyatta main. So of course I'm very excited about the upcoming blaster. Now I'm going to talk about Crunker Ranked Mode and I did play it a lot when Ranked was in beta, but when it was released, um, not a whole lot of people were queuing for it. And um, still like not very many people are queuing for four versus four. So I jumped back into some one versus ones and it was really fun, the games that um, I did get to play. But um, half the games, um, the opponent left the game and I didn't gain any points for that. So obviously that's really annoying. So I do hope that the ranked rework is going to address the problem of levers. But also there's the hacker situation um, in addition to just the low uh, number of people queuing for games. As of right now, the main clue that we have is um, from the devs themselves in the patch notes. Um, stuff they're working on includes ranked rework and they mention um, class limits. So I think that overall the class limits is a good idea, um, something that should definitely be tested out. The good news is that everyone involved in Crunker Esports and the Flash tournaments, both the organizers and the players, I think are extremely dedicated because they're really helping to play test the game and figuring out the best competitive uh, modes and rules without it quite being there yet. I think we could expect some new game modes for ranked as well, maybe rotate them in every once in a while. Um, the devs did add search and destroy mode as a custom game or not. The competitive community will um, know best when it comes to this, but um, the other thing to consider is making it fun for just like the average player. Moving on to the next topic, which is the Battle Royale mode. And the Battle Royale mode was teased in the patch notes like ages ago, a very, very long time ago, maybe seven or eight months ago. At first I was super excited about it, but then um, playing some 16-man custom servers, it was kind of laggy and Crunker didn't really feel like the best fit for a BR game, but now I kind of want it again. There are some parts of the recent patches that may be related to Battle Royale. Um, I think about a month ago, the option for the 40-man server was added to the game. And with just about every update, there's server optimizations, um, FPS optimizations, which are going to be very important for these high load games. In recent patches, there have also been updates to terrain. And I do remember when um, the Battle Royale mode was first rumored and then there was an update related to terrain and people got really excited. Well, it looks like the terrain updates may be coming back again. But I also think that anyone who's waited this long knows not to expect too much. Um, that being said, people are playing Battle Royale games in custom servers and definitely enjoying it enjoying their 40-man games, so um, could be feasible sooner than we might think. So next I'll talk about what I would like to see in Crunker, and after that I'm going to make some predictions about what Crunker might be like in a year from now. Really the main thing that I would like to see is like weapon modifications, kind of like Call of Duty Gunsmith, because for people like me who like to test stuff out, that element of the game is really fun. It also adds a little bit of strategic depth, but uh, really gives people something to grind for. If it's like a level based unlock or maybe a cost to buy or even a tradable item. Um, and then also it gets content creators to talk about it and just keep Crunker in the news uh, when there's new updates that add attachments to the game and stuff like that. Personally, I'd really enjoy doing videos kind of in the same style as Wacky Jackie from PUBG or Hawk's Nest or Exclusive Ace from COD Mobile slash COD PC. I almost forgot about one more thing that I would like to see and that's a more advanced one versus one mode. Um, something similar to Arena FPS where you can pick up power-ups, you have to control resources around the map because I really do think that um, Crunker could give games like Diabotical a run for its money. Now let's talk about my predictions for what I think Crunker is going to be like in one year. So starting with the player base. Um, a year from now I think that Crunker is definitely going to grow and we've seen a lot of games launch over the course of just this past year alone. A lot of big titles like Valorant um, that may be drawing people away from Crunker, but then there's also titles that have been launched um, that have kind of fizzled out as well. So in terms of the competition of other games, it might be a wash, but really the big thing for me is going to be mobile and the Steam launch, which I think could really massively increase the popularity of Crunker. Having an influx of new players is always going to be super important for any online game. 
Um, the challenge is uh, new players jumping into these free-for-all lobbies and just getting destroyed. But you also have to keep the attention of the veteran players at the same time. So in a year, I think maybe Kronker could double its player base. So if we're seeing 10,000 concurrent active users, maybe next year, 20,000. I think that the core game mode is going to be the same. So having public lobbies where you can jump around as opposed to having everything tied to a matchmaker. Um, but we will have um, a better ranked mode. And I do believe that we'll have a simple battle royale queue by then. Kronker on mobile is going to be a whole lot better by then too, whether it's via an app or a mobile browser. I'm sure about this because even right now, um, Kronker is actually one of the best mobile games I've ever played. It feels really good, super smooth and responsive, but um, just, you know, adding some features here and there, it's going to really tune it up. So my prediction is that Kronker is going to be a much more polished game with more modes and more players by then. Before I close this video, I want to let you guys know I did update my scope and my mod. So more details at feelsgoodman.com slash mod. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not subscribed yet, please help me out by doing so. And please use creator code Phil's in the Crooker store. Thank you.